And good morning, folks. Today is Wednesday the 20th. Just been busy the last couple of days. I'm down to 171 pounds. I'm getting towards my gold. I ain't going to be one of those people like, I have to lose weight until it's too late and they drop dead because there's three things that might be coming up in the future. You don't need to know about it until it kills you. Okay, uh, let's see what's going on. Uh, this is Uncle Al, who generally Wednesday's chat. I'm busy. I've been gardening and stuff. And I'm getting things ready. There, it, uh, Like I told people, be careful in Oklahoma and Texas. Now that area expanded all the way up to South Dakota and down to uh, Texas. And west to uh, Kansas City and east towards Arkansas. Nobody ever listens to old Uncle Al when I tell you this stuff. And a lot of weather predictors says, Hurricane season's gonna die down. And a pig's... Well, I can't say that. Okay. First thing, let's do a shout out first. Uh, Danger Dale. Who's your prepping nurse? Prepping by faith. Prepping with Sarge. Sassy gal prepping. Um... You should check on your flood insurance and get sandbags. Remember, I told you it's going to be between drought and flooding. Okay? One second, you've been out of water for 60 days. Next second, you're going to be knee-deep in water. So, Sassy Gal prepping in Virginia area. and Let's see, Virginia, uh, North Carolina, South Carolina... I can't think of the states west of them. You should check on your flood insurance. And Georgia. All right. Nene's Northern Prepper. Oh, God. Everybody prays for Nene's Northern Prepper. Make sure your generators work. Remember, solar generators don't work when there's no sun. Duh. Okay, and Garden State Gardener, Joe's channel. He's coming up tomorrow. Unfortunately, I'm going to have stitches removed and more dental work done. So I'm going to be out of it. So I have to do a whole bunch of these little vignettes today. Uh, we heard, finally, if you check on a community board, Lori's Thrifty Kitchen Pantry. She's alive. She's been in and out of conscious. That's why we, we haven't heard from her. She's in the hospice hospital, and she'll try to do a video today at 4, 4, bleh, 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, East Coast. It'll be about 7 Eastern Standard Time. So check out Lori's Drifty Kitchen Pantry. All right. Yeah, just been busy. Check out Allie Carroll, David Lynn, Prepper Principal, Harshman Hills. When are you going to do the coffee bag trick? Uh, Dad on YouTube. I hope he's still alive. He lives in Alabama. Uh, Food Forest Permaculture, Michelle Mittens Prepper. Okay. Uh, Groovy Pop Tart, Preparedness Veteran. He's in England. I would stock up a lot of firewood and a lot of of coal and peat. Screw the government. What the hell they know about anything. SD Mountain Man. Good on the hay, hay video. Guns and Gadgets. Gerald Channel. Guess what Brandon's gonna do? Set up another office to ban 2A rights. Also, first A rights. And also, third A Go just go down the Bill of Rights and just check everything off. Okay, including slavery. That's a bad idea. What, free people from being slaves? Yeah. That's Brandon for you. 80 years old and is going to die. Okay, and then check out Matt Holbrook and Modern Refugee. Both great channels. Uh, all right. First thing off. I'm going to, this is a 10 minute video. Uh, people are panicking because there's thousands of migrants flooding into 
uh, Texas because none of them don't want to go to New Mexico or Arizona or California. They look, oh, hell no. And they're all flooding to Texas because they've seen California. They, oh, oh, hell no. We're not going there. They're all diverting like that. Two, you have to be stopped being racist. All right? Big point. You have to be stopping racist. A lot of my family and a lot of my friends in Mexico keep telling people they're not all Mexican. Only 10%. That's the undisciplined and uneducated ones crossing the border. Everybody else is from South America and Central America. All right? At least 40%. 60% are from the rest of the world. Okay? I have to tell it. A lot of my Mexican friends have to tell it. I know a couple of my Mexican in-laws from my nephew's side are screaming, Stop being racist. Okay? A lot of them are from Haiti. A lot of them are from Africa. A lot of them are from Middle East. Syria. Libya. And also Eastern Europe. Ukraine. Russia. Okay? That's about 40%. Okay? So we got 60%. From South America, a lot of them are from socialist countries. Tell that to Hubble's cat. We got, uh, yeah, sixty percent, and then the rest are from Europe and Canada, and Africa, and the Caribbean, and any other country. I'm not even including China yet. China and Southeast Asia. Okay, you have communism, socialism. You tell that to Hubble's cat. They're flooding through Mexico. Now, if you look at the demographics and geography of Mexico, a lot of Mexicans do not want to leave. Okay? They're becoming disciplined and educated because they know they're going to have a bigger boom. The cartels are worried in Mexico because you have educated people, well-disciplined, their numbers is going to die off. Big problem is the cabal is, is forming. That's like a super cartel. They don't like the little cartels going, we're making money and doing stupid things in America. It's like you got this wonderful, delicious steak dinners, mashed potatoes, uh, peas, and a nice medium rare steak, and somebody stands on the table and poops on it. Okay? That's what the cabal is very upset about these little idiot cartels from Central, South America, and Mexico, financed by the Koreans, North Korea, by the, uh, what you may call it, CCP, and the Tongs. The cabal is a group of Tongs, Yakuza, criminal organizations from all over the world saying, enough's enough. Stop pooping on my steak dinner. Okay? These people are mad. And they want to get the... Uh, the Never talk with stitches in your mouth. They want the uh, cartels to up up their game. That's more discipline and better education. So if you're in a cartel and you don't have a co two-year college education, you're going to get gutted and castrated and probably set on fire. Because the cartels are are at their point, at their high point, and the cabal is like, okay, tapping on fingers on glass, and they say, that's it. And you think the Mexican army and law enforcement's bad? Wait until the cabal gets a hold of you. Okay? Because the only thing stopping them is CCP backing them with cheap won money. So forth, North Korea. But their money is crap. Okay? So think very carefully. Once the cabal takes over, your time is over. Okay? And I would stop crapping on somebody's steak dinner. Next big problem, which I won't discuss other than racism and bad disinformation. I'll talk about that a little later. Like I said, 
grow a garden check out garden state uh, garden state gardeners joe's channel tomorrow at thursday uh check out i'm going to go a little bit over right now uh idaho garden girl i see <coughs> i think she's going to have dry snow or it's it's going to be cold and wet and rain but a lot of people don't understand when i'm talking about dry snow Like Kansas getting hit with corn devils. Nobody understands Uncle Al and his weather. Big problem is a lot of people are not prepared. Go check out this channel, Garden State Gardener. Um, oh, uh, Idaho Garden Girl. Uh, let's see. Cat Patton's Family Compound. Uh, sorry, I'm busy. Tuesday is my church night and they changed my schedule. Sorry, Gil. So check out Gil at uh, Cap Patton's Family Compound. He did a really good one on solar lights and uh, uh, whatchamacallit, kerosene or fuel lamps. And I'll catch you later. God bless and good luck. Bye now. Sorry for a little long.